James. James. You have a call. Here. Am I on to James? Hello? Yes. Yes, sir. I will be coming over today. Please don't be late. Of course, I won't be late. What did he say? I'm being invited for an interview for the job at Province Bank by 10.30 a.m. today. Hmm. This is the third time in three years. You have been applying for the same job. I hope you get it this time. The Lord shall order your footsteps and grant you favor. Amen. I need to get prepared. What will be more suitable to wear? You have to dress corporately. You don't want to mess this up. And please be confident in yourself. Every year, you work and study hard to meet their work demands. And every year you either miss out something in the exams, or answer an interview question wrongly. And don't tell me it's anxiety or fear, because you are one of the most intelligent and outspoken person I've ever met. Yet, yeah, it's still a mystery to me, but I am more than prepared now, physically and spiritually. I am sure God is in control now. Yes, he is. We have prayed so hard for this. Go get that job, brother. Thank you. Lord Jesus, cast away every form of anxiety or fear from my heart. You said in your word in Psalm 55 verse 22, Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Retentive memory I pray, O God, minister to me all that I have read and practiced. You have about an hour to finish up. The interview starts immediately the exams are over. The applicants who might not be interviewed today because of time can come tomorrow. Your time starts now. Time's up. This is tougher than last year's. Who will be the lucky one? It will be me. I claim it by faith. We are over 20 people applying for a particular post. Why will it be you? Because I believe. I've worked so hard for this. We've all worked hard for this. This is my fourth year. If I don't get it right this time, I might as well just give up on everything. This is my second year. I hear people keep replying even after five years. This is my third year. I don't know what to do if I don't get it this time. Good evening. Your expression doesn't look positive. Don't tell me it's like last time. I need a glass of water, please. So? How did it go? I thank God. I mean, he said in everything we should give thanks. So, I thank God for everything. Why are you sounding like this? I hope everything is alright. Pat, you know these people as well as I do. But I understand, everything happens according to God's plan and purpose. It is not of he that willeth, but of he that showeth mercy. So I am hoping for his mercies. <laughs> True. But I think, rather than feeling defeated, you should feel elevated. Ecstatic even. Reminding God of his promises in his word. Yes, Pat. I don't want to feel defeated. At the same time, I don't want to give myself false hope. I have done my part. I leave the rest to God. True. Anyways, welcome home. No matter the outcome, it is not the end of the word. I made you a tantalizing dinner. Freshen up and come eat. You should consider getting married soon. You're wasting so much time. Your lady will love your cooking services. I know right, but when I get married, who will take care of my big brother? I'll probably come to your house every day with a food storage jar. Hmm. Oh Lord Jesus. What is all this? Another rejection? You said, you'd never fail nor abandon me. Have you forgotten your promises? What am I going to do? Father, thank you for everything. I know the thoughts you have for me are of good and not of evil, to bring me to an expected end. I will not fret, because I know you have a better offer for me and I only need to be patient and wait on you. Good afternoon, bro. You don't look too happy. What's up? Nothing really, just praying. Oh, okay. I don't want to cease praying, I don't know the time nor the hour my prayers will be answered. You should consider getting ordained as a priest. I think that is what God has called you for, to serve Him. 
Well, I will worship the Lord with all my heart, but getting ordained as a priest is out of my purpose. So, what is your purpose? You will know when the time comes. Okay. What about the job? Have they called you yet? Yes, I was rejected. What? Not again. What are you going to do? You're looking too relaxed for this to be true. Well, I am hoping for God's promises. If it is meant for me, it will find me. Ah, no, no, no. Three years? James? Three good years in the same rejection. Something isn't right. Some people actually apply for five years, I heard. But again, what's meant for me will find me. I just have to do my part and leave the rest to God. What are you going to do now? I'll continue my menial jobs and online selling. Things will eventually fall into place with time. Ah, this is really frustrating. What are we eating for dinner? Are you sure you are okay? Of course, I'm perfectly fine. It's the third time, so it doesn't have much effect, like the first two times. So yeah, I'm fine. Okay. If you say so. James, I wasn't expecting to see you today. How is it going? I am fine, sir. I needed some money. I thought you said you were going for that interview, and you were so sure you wouldn't come back to this job. Well, sir, things didn't go as planned. I was rejected yet again. Ha! The third time in three years? This is no longer normal. Are you sure evil forces are not after you? How can you keep applying for the same job every year and keep getting rejected? When you're familiar with the interview. I don't know where this rejection is coming from, but I know I will get what I truly deserve by God's grace. I pray what belongs to you will surely get to you. Thank you for your encouraging words. You say, this is the third year? Yes, Joe. Ah. So why do you keep replying? I don't think that position is meant for you. God is probably protecting you and you might not see it right now. You are an intelligent man, James. If after all your hard work and dedication you still get rejected, I'm advising you should let it go. Let it go? How? This is my dream career we are talking about, Joe. The pay, the accommodation, everything. It's my dream job. This will get me settled in life. I know, James. But you can't keep wasting your time by pursuing something you wouldn't get. So what? Next year you apply again and you get rejected again? Think about it. I don't think this is meant for you so you should stop pursuing it. Look for another. It can also be in the same field. Try something different. This might be what you need to get you to where God wants you to be. It will be hard. May the Lord direct you and preserve you. It is well with you. Amen. Thank you. Look who's here. It's the loser and his younger brother who is also a loser. You can't talk to your brothers like that, Susan. Welcome, my boys. How are you two doing? Good evening, Mom. We are fine and you? Splendid. Just splendid. Come have a seat. Dinner is set. You are a tad bit late. Your father will join us soon. So you were rejected again. Hum. Are you sure you are as smart as you pride yourself to be? Because I don't see why you keep getting rejected. Susan, mind the way you speak to your brother. I am older than him, Mom. I can speak to him however I want. Let her be, Mom. She can speak to me anyhow she wants. At least I am not the only one losing at something. What does that mean? It means dear elder sister, you are also losing in marital life. Why are you yet to get married? How dare you speak to me in that manner, James? Oh, you have grown wings, right? To talk back to your elder sister. You started it, Auntie. Oh, shut up. That's enough. Susan, you should know better than to always pick a fight with your brothers. I raised you better than this. James, you finally decide to honor our invitation, you're welcome. Good evening, Father. How have you been? Good evening, Father. How are you? Well, I don't want to say I'm worried sick about the well-being of my children. But the Lord has been keeping me. Now, let's pray and eat. Later, we can discuss all our successes. Yes, Father. So, James. 
I heard you applied for that job again. What was the outcome? I was rejected. Okay. Three years with the same outcome. What are you not doing differently? I mean, you can't keep doing the same thing and expect different results. Well, every year I use other alternatives in answering the questions and writing the exams. I keep strategizing and restructuring, but no matter the amount of brain work I put in, it still doesn't work out. Have you considered quitting? I know it's the last thing you want to hear from me, but that's just how I'd say it. You're my first son. I won't sugarcoat words or give you false hopes. Yes, I know that if we keep praying and crying to God for what we truly want, He'd eventually come through for us. But most times we need to ask God for direction. So to know if the part we choose to take is the right part. So, I ask again, have you considered quitting? I have been thinking about it. Good, you better start thinking about it well. There are so many other good paying jobs around. You can even start up your own, gradually you will eventually get to where you want to be. Sometimes God uses rejection as a form of protection, to eventually propel us to the right direction. I've heard you, Father. I'll try to work out another way. Good. Any other issue you'd like us to address? Patrick, how is your work and your stay with your brother? I hope you guys aren't fighting. Work is fine, Father, and no, we are not fighting. That's good to hear. Susan, you're always on your phone. How's business? Business is going well. I'm actually in a business meeting on my phone. Oh, I see. Okay then. Please, I would love if you guys stop mucking and throwing jabs at each other. Instead encourage yourselves. Be a beacon of hope to each. This should be the last time such negative exchange is had in this family. Is that clear? Yes, father. They shouldn't mock me either. Susan, that's what I just said. And you poked the bear first. Please stop it. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. So what are you going to do now? You can't keep working in that warehouse. Yes, I can't keep working there. I have been asking God to order my footsteps. You know, since I sell online, I will be able to import more of the goods I sell and start selling them in a shop. It's a very lucrative business if I am serious about it. I can rent a shop, import the goods and sell them myself, or what do you think? I had that in mind but I didn't know how far you are into selling this stuff online. Anyway, that's a great idea. The next thing is to get the money to rent the shop before the goods arrive. Where will you get money to rent the shop? I have some money saved up, Susan can help me too if I ask her. Auntie Susan? Do you think she would give you money? I pray she does if she has it. She worked really hard to uplift our family. She can be a little brash sometimes but she's the only one I can call when I need help. Yeah, you are right. She scares me most times. The two chipmunks. You all haven't visited me in a while. You must want something. Good evening, sis. Come in. You came at the right time. Dinner is ready. You were right, Susan. I have something to ask of you. Okay, what is it? I have a business plan. I would like to expand my online business. I plan on renting a physical shop to boost my sales. So I need some money to rent a shop and also start importing the goods. I plan on paying you back monthly once I'm settled, so you don't have to worry. Worry about what? You won't dare run away with my money. Just kidding. This is a good idea. I will give you enough to rent and import. I will also introduce you to some of my customers in China. They can help you find manufacturers that deal with the kind of product you want to sell. Okay. Then you can order in bulk. Really, you will do all that? Of course. I wanted to suggest it to you a year ago. But you were so into your dream job and career. So I just had to let you ride with it. You being an accountant doesn't necessarily mean you have to work in a bank. Your knowledge on accounting and records will also help you succeed faster in this business. Thank you so much sis. God bless you. I pray God blesses this path I'm about to take.
I hope I don't fail. If I do, then... Then what? Stop with the negativity. If one road doesn't open for you, another will. If it doesn't, you try again. Life is trial and error. We keep trying till we get to the direction God has destined for us. Sometimes God closes a road for us, or makes a path difficult for us, to protect us from greater doom, that might cost us great anguish, you never know. Every disappointment is a blessing. Thank you. You're welcome. What's going on here? Today is a work day, why is the bank closed? The bank is closed till further notice. A message was sent to customers to withdraw their cash, they have a month to do that. What? An email was sent recently, have you checked your email? Oh! OMG, they actually did. Wow, so what happened? This is so random and abrupt. They were charged with money laundering, currently under investigation. What happens to the staff? I heard they were laid off, not sure. This must be recent. I haven't listened to the news in a while though. Yes, it was aired two days ago. Wow, James is lucky. God was actually protecting him. This would have been a big blow to him. Who? Never mind. Thank you for the info. Hello, James. Did you hear the news about Province Bank? I just read about it. What a coincidence. Can you see what God did for you? Yes, Patrick. Yes. Have you taken out your money? I did that before I called you. I'm so happy you didn't eventually get employed here. I'm glad. I would have been back to square one. Everything really happens for a reason. All right. I'll be coming home soon. Two years later, James is doing exceedingly well in his business. He now has a house of his own, with cars. Now married and expecting his first child. Lord Jesus, you are so faithful. I was holding on to that job so tight, but you had a better plan for me. Even if I had that job, I won't be where I am today in 10 years. Thank you Jesus. Luke 12 verse 31 to 32. Seek the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added to you. Fear not little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Indeed, only those that wait on the Lord and trust in him will reap the good of the land.